Hold on a moment, I just saw a top alternative independent news organization totally butchered this story with not an ounce of truth, with not an ounce of just compassion for its viewers, totally flip-flopping. So you know what? Let's talk about Donald Trump and Henry Kissinger. As we know, the two have recently met in New York to discuss the future of U.S. foreign policy, more specifically China, Russia, Iran, the European Union, and other events and issues around the world. Of course, this is an official statement from a private meeting that held no public records. As we know, Henry Kissinger and Donald Trump have been friends for a very long time and even had weeks of telephone conversations between each other when Donald Trump was running for president of the United States. Henry Kissinger has advised presidents on national security issues since JFK and Barack Obama's own national security advisor said that he takes his daily orders from Dr. Kissinger. So you might be asking yourself, what's out of the ordinary? What's the problem here? Oh yeah, Henry Kissinger is a top globalist scumbag who is a part of all the secret societies, Trilateral Commission, CFR, Bilderberg Group, Bohemian Grove, who has been pulling the strings of U.S. foreign policy for decades with his cohorts. And if you study U.S. foreign policy for the last few decades, it's not a good picture that was painted by Mr. Kissinger, his, him damn self. Donald Trump is colluding, is cuddling this old man and even said that he takes his foreign policy advice from him and that Henry Kissinger agrees with Donald Trump's foreign policy. Henry Kissinger was on CNN on Fareed Zakaria's show. Fareed Zakaria is also a Bilderberg member and he had this to say. Was of a determined president, a president-elect who is making the transition from being a campaigner to being a national strategist. AKA, he's coming away from being the person he promised he was to you into becoming a quote, national strategist after just meeting with Henry Kissinger. He goes on. The challenges and opportunities for a President Trump. Well, this president-elect, it's the most unique that I have experienced in one respect. He has absolutely no package. AKA, I never had to deal with this crap before because he's not a part of any secret society and we have no blackmail on him. As it was confirmed by Newt Gingrich, who on Fox News said that the establishment is scared of Donald Trump because he's not a part of any secret societies. And again, secret societies like Bohemian Grove and Skull and Bones get dirt on very powerful people. And then they use that dirt in order to extort them. And that's exactly what Henry Kissinger is putting in context. The impact of globalization and I wrote minor things about that earlier. Not enough attention was paid to the fact that it was bound to have winners and losers, and that the losers were bound to try to express themselves in some... AKA, all the globalist tyrannical free trade war policies that I have been pushing on the American public when I had my fingertips on U.S. foreign policy, there was a reaction to that and that elected Donald Trump because Donald Trump was speaking out against that when he was running for president. Kind of political reaction. In my view, in the present situation, one has to, one should not insist on nailing him into positions that he had taken in the campaign on which he doesn't insist. If he insists on them, then of course disagreements will, will become uh, expressed. Fareed Zakari then goes on and says, are you suggesting that Donald Trump should flip-flop? Duh, that's exactly what Henry Kissinger is freaking talking about. And we could see Donald Trump, he vowed to repeal Obamacare on the campaign trail, but he has since softened his rhetoric. He has claimed that he would persecute Hillary Clinton, but now he is saying that he doesn't want to, quote, hurt her, and he has avoided confirming any such plans when she broke the law. Why would this happen after a meeting with, with Henry Kissinger? Oh, yeah. 
Henry Kissinger and Hillary Clinton have a very, very, very personal relationship. They vacation together at beachfront villas. Hillary Clinton publicly called him a friend and that she, quote, relied on Henry Kissinger for counsel when she was Secretary of State from 2009 to 2013. She said, quote, he checked in with me regularly sharing astute observations about foreign leaders and sending me written reports. This is Hillary Clinton admitting that Henry Kissinger was pulling the strings on her. To make the situation worse, he, uh, Kissinger said this. On which he doesn't insist. If he insists on them, then of course disagreements will, will become uh, Express. There's going to be disagreements. What what do you think that means, especially from a war criminal? Henry Kissinger prolonged the Vietnam War for five pointless years. He illegally bombed Cambodia and Laos just on his own volition. He goaded Nixon to wiretap staffers and journalists. He was responsible for three genocides in Cambodia, East Timor, and Bangladesh. He urged Nixon to go after Daniel Ellsberg, a journalist, for having released the Pentagon Papers, which again set off the whole chain of events where brought, brought down Richard Nixon. He again pumped up Pakistan's ISI and encouraged it to use it politically as with Islam to destabilize Afghanistan. He began U.S. arms for petrol dollar dependency with Saudi Arabia and pre-revolutionary Iran. He accelerated needless civil wars in southern Africa that, in the name of supporting white supremacy, left millions dead. He supported coups and death squads throughout Latin America, and he integrated himself with the first generation neocons such as Dick Cheney and Paul Wolfowitz that took the throne and launched the war in Iraq, the war in Afghanistan. He had his fingers on Hillary Clinton when she went into Libya. He, he had his fingers on Barack Obama when he went after Syria. He is the man responsible for horrible war crimes. I confronted this man one on one for his criminal, illegal behavior that he should be behind bars with. And then he said, I'm a coward for calling him out. You can watch this video. It's going to be in the description below. Just click description sources, go all the way down the video, the YouTube links. Watch me. I confronted him four times. I even confronted him on memorandum 200 national security letter where he openly talked about how population growth in the third world was a grave threat to U.S. national security and how there should be a covert plan to reduce populations with birth control and also war and famine. This is the man who at the end of this interview, which you could watch, said that the United States was a bastion for peace and prosperity around the world. What? <laughs> And now, when another independent alternative media organization takes this entire program and uses it as a way to prop up Trump, and I'm like, wait, hold on, what are you doing? Now, now to be fair, we still don't know exactly what's going to happen with Donald Trump. He's not even president yet, but I'm seeing the warning signs, and I'm going to scream it off the top of my lungs with a bullhorn, because that's what I'm here to do. People are not going to like this video, but you know what? That's fine, because I'm doing this for truth. I'm doing this because it matters more to tell you exactly what's happening than to manipulate you in order to push your perceived bias. And I can only do that because of your support on patreon.com forward slash we are change, which makes me accountable to you since you finance this entire operation. Subscribe. We're going to have more real news coming here your way on youtube.com forward slash we are change.